You guys, she even works. My daily driver. Granted, this is a light load, but she still works. So, this video is... I cracked my flywheel. Um, in my headlight video, if you notice when I started that you could hear some noise. I'm going to do it here in a few minutes. But, last night, I started getting this weird... Um, not really a squeaking, more of a chirping sound. And I thought that the tensioner pulley went. So this morning we took off the uh, we took off the serpentine belt, started the truck, and I still had the sound. So it wasn't the tensioner pulley. I brought it down to Kevin's. Shout out to Kevin, Kevin's place. And Kevin crawled around and says it sounds like I cracked my flywheel. I asked him if I could still drive it. He says, yes, um, it'll shear off eventually and I'll just be stuck wherever I am. Well, Kevin's going to Aruba for a week. Have a good time, Kev. Um, so I can't get it fixed for a week. And he says it's gonna last as long as I don't go racing around. So that means we're not going to the track Wednesday unfortunately but let me give it a start you guys can hear what's going on now before I open this it gets real loud um, it sounds like the motors throughout the whole engine bay but if you climb underneath the truck between the transmission and the motor you can really hear it Hear that? No, 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 no. I don't know if it's coming through on camera. It sounds like something's loose. Da, 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 da. Well, I hope it picks up on camera. But if we climb underneath the truck. Ugh. there so sounds like I cracked my flywheel like I said well technically it's not a flywheel this is an automatic it's a flex plate so it sounds like I cracked my flex plate I'm gonna run down to um, the performance shop today see how much it is for a new flex plate and if I can get a lighter weight one, something a little more performance oriented. Now, most of the guys my age, the guys that have been around a while will already know this. This is for you younger kids. If you guys want to build up your cars, you don't really have money. Wait for things to break. And as they break, replace them with performance parts because... A lot of times, performance parts are actually cheaper than the stock parts. And you get that performance gain. Now, granted, you're not going to get a custom grind cam for the same price as a factory cam. But, in a lot of cases, you can save some money. Because performance parts are usually cheaper than OEM parts. So, if you don't have money, you can slowly build your car up that way. Um, like and subscribe guys sorry we're not going to the track this week maybe we'll go twice next week uh, get those videos up for you have a good one